Hey everyone, I'm here with the Kaylin Chan, the just woken up in the morning Kaylin Chan, because we're off on another adventure to go to a place called the Silver City Ruins. It's going to be a lot of fun because it's a really cool location, and I think we'll, I don't know how much we'll be able to come up with, but I think we'll be able to get at least some really cool looking shots, and Austin's coming, who is just becoming an amazing filmmaker so he'll definitely get some cool stuff. So we're gonna have to say goodbye to Jaden but before we go we want to see Jaden do a backflip. He just learned these like a month ago so super impressive. Let's see it. Yeah that was awesome and how old are you? 11. 11 sweet well that's awesome for an 11 year old. Well just that's awesome for anyone that's a backflip you know that's crazy. Yeah. Did you teach him that? Yep, that's why I learned it a year before I did. Yeah, <laughs> nice. I learned my first one at 12. So. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. Sweet, well you're on the path to become the next Kalen, or better than Kalen, huh? <laughs> if he wants to. Yeah, if he's, if he's motivated and passionate, that's what'll happen. So, anyways, see you later, and let's go find Austin. Let's go. Hi hey, Austin. Sup? That's Austin, guys. He's like so cool and he's coming with us, so this is super awesome. How's your day been so far? It's been good. Waking Did you... up, meetings, stuff like that. Yeah. Did you wake up just now just like Kaylin? No, I actually woke Kaylin up 20 minutes ago. Oh, really? Maybe <laughs> more like an hour ago. Oh, nice. <laughs> and then I went back to sleep. <laughs> yeah. I, I wish I, I could. I knew he would. I probably would have slept in, except I have two babies, a two year old and a six month old, so. We're actually eight months now. So anyways, that doesn't really work. So I miss the good old days of sleeping in, but I'm super grateful for babies because they're super fun having kids. <laughs> so <laughs> anyways, we're going to Silver City now, going on about an hour and a half drive to this cool location. I actually heard that the walls there are very like, uh, I, I only heard this last night, that the walls there, you have to check them because they can be kind of like sketchy and wobbly. So. Don't kill yourself, guys. Sounds good. And I'll try and not kill myself, so. Here we go! Here we are at the Silver City Ruin. Those aren't the Silver City Ruins. Oh, there they are. There's the Silver City Ruins. That's what I'm talking about. Super cool looking. I hope they don't break on us. We'll be careful. We don't, we don't like causing damage to things, even if they're already ruined. <laughs> some parkour? And, and so yeah. Ruins. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> This is super cool guys, super crazy looking. You can tell just from looking at these walls that like we're definitely going to have to test everything before we jump on it, take our time. No, we're in no hurry. Oh my gosh dude, I just found the stereotypical red video game barrel. <laughs> Yo, don't touch it. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Extremely dope. Yeah. This place is super cool looking, super sketchy though. Check out this wall right here when I move it. Like, completely. It's worse the farther you are away from it looking at it. Oh yeah. It's even worse. <laughs> so close. <laughs> so hot. And Kaylin just drank the last of his liquids. So he's gonna dehydrate pretty soon. And we're in the middle of a desert. And all we have is this arch as shelter, and we're trying to corner wall run up the side of it right here. It's pretty dang fun, but in 90 degree weather in the desert, it gets pretty exhausting. Very nice noise. It's a baby. Oh. It's okay, my darling. It's okay. <laughs> so this wall here, we looked on all four sides and there's no way to get inside of it. So the only way to get on or in it is to climb it. And it's really high and sketchy. As you can see how tall it is next to Kaylin here. It. And uh, yeah, but I think I might have a grappling hook in my car, so we'll go get that and see if we can find a way up. 
All right, so it turns out I did have a grappling hook in my back of my car that I just keep there for emergencies because you never know when you're gonna need it. So anyways, we'll try and do it right here where there's a nice, we cleared out a nice landing spot for coming down. And I uh, haven't thrown one of these in a long time, so here goes. Attempt at throwing a grapple hook, take one. Hope there's no like monsters on the other side that I wake up. And hope I don't let go of the rope and it all goes on the other side. Nice. <laughs> First Troy, maybe. Yeah, I want to go. Want it to go deeper, hoping it'll just catch on something. The scary thing is, you can't see what it's catching over there, so you really won't know how sturdy it is. You just have to hope that it's, you know, feel it out, make sure it's gonna hold you. I'm doing a tutorial on grappling hook, grapple hooking right now. Grapple hooking, grappling hooking, grapple. Just doing the grapple. So, anyways. Got this uh, stuff to let go here. I'm standing on it so I don't lose the rope. And uh, you want to get a nice swing. And when you release, you want to kind of like throw your arm with it and then let go so you can aim it. And just uh, you want to get a nice arc with it so it's uh, not just shooting straight into the wall. <laughs> All right, got it over. Let's see. I'll let it. I'll see if I can. Let it down lower so that uh, it has more stuff to grab onto. Oh, that is pretty darn sketch. There you go. Dang it, didn't hook on anything. That's pretty dope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna keep tension on it so it doesn't lose its grip. Hopefully, the problem is this rope's really thin, so it, like it's really hard to grip onto. I wish I had brought gloves. Yo, dude. Yeah, there's not a lot to grab there. Woo. Oh yeah! Oh. Alright, we made it up. Here we are. This is what it looks like up here. Just like kind of big tall containers. Here's where you can see what it was hooked onto, right? <laughs> oh dude, <laughs> so, so freaky. Cooper tight. Keep it tight. Ah, we're alive. It was fine. We knew exactly what we were doing the whole time. <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah, that was fun. It's kind of fun to explore. I knew we, thing was, I knew we could find a way to get down. It was just like, best way to do it and still keep my grappling hook. Yeah, dude. You just threw a front flip into nothingness. Or sketchiness, I should say. You just front flipped. I was like, hope he knows where he's landing. <laughs> I front flip and then you hear me, oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> that looked freaky because you like your body like swung. <laughs> yeah. Whenever I don't make it, it's like, oh crap, now I have to fall. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks like this is someone's little house. If you come in right here, there's a little table. Look at this cute little arch over here. This is this cute little arch. I'm gonna do a little flip on that. Doing the last shot of the day. Kaylin Precision jumps these and sticks it on this last big one at the end. Man, this guy, he just keeps going and going. He's got legs like a horse and a body like a gazelle. <laughs> So we decided on our way back we'd stop at another abandoned mine that I haven't been to in a long time but you've seen in one of my previous videos. It was my very first zombie parkour video. You'll be able to see it right up here. Recognize that? It's a really cool spot. We're too worn out to actually film parkour there today, right now maybe a little bit but we're just gonna scope it out so we can come back here again another time, do another awesome video. Yeah, Dirk then goes with the, the, the swing cast, no, not the worm cast. That's what it's called. Dude, look at, look at this beautiful view right here. It's amazing. There's a storm off there in the distance you can see. And this uh, toxic pond right here that I'm sure you'd die and, or get cancer if you went into. Anyways, I wish we could do more here, but it's getting dark and rainy. But we'll come back here again and I'll bring more awesome people too so that it's not just me doing lame stuff all the time, but we get more crazy like gainer precision I'm down to there. No way, dude. For, oh, okay. He <laughs> does that to me. He psychs me out. It's raining on us, so I believe it is time to get out of here. And there's thunder and lightning. And we're on top of a mountain, standing super high. So this will be awesome. This will be my opportunity to get superpowers. I've always wanted electric superpowers. This will be so cool. And we're in a chemical-like area, waste area. So that's the perfect combination to become a superhero. Anyways, super excited. It's like the perfect amount of hate. Today's just been one of those majestic days where just beautiful thing after beautiful thing keeps happening. I don't know, this is a pretty gorgeous sunset. And I know you see sunsets all the time in videos, so it's like, it's no big deal, whatevs. But sometimes you just need to go outside and just look into a sunset and just appreciate your, that moment, that point in time, and that place in the universe and realize how powerful it is that you're this little speck of dust next to the universe, yet you're able and capable of absorbing this information and processing it to appreciate the majesty and beauty of the processes of the universe surrounding us. It's just mind-blowing. Like Neil deGrasse Tyson says, we're just stardust made from the stars. It's a wonderful thing. All right, guys, it's been a ton of fun. It's been a great adventure. Glad we've been able to end it with this beautiful scenery. Um, be sure to watch for Kaylin's video on his Instagram, and are you gonna put it on YouTube too? Um, I'm not sure, probably just Instagram. Okay, just not. Instagram. You'll find this one on my main channel of YouTube, because this is the vlog right now you're watching, and you'll see the main one on YouTube. But anyways, once again, be sure to subscribe for more vlogs. And subscribe to YGT for your videos. running. Subscribe to YGT, because they're awesome. 
once again. If you like my shirts, check out my shirts. If you like YGT shirts, go check out their shirts. Just support all around makes us be able to make awesome videos for you. Spend so all of your money. All of it. All of it. <laughs> Anyways, thanks everyone. I love you.